Life these days can get pretty intense. With jobs to manage, bills to pay, families to care for, and piles of other responsibilities to juggle, is it any wonder that so many of us are stressed out? When you think about it, stress is nothing new. Humans have been dealing with it since the beginning of time, and sometimes it works to our advantage. In small doses, stress energizes and motivates you, makes you work more efficiently, and helps you achieve your goals. Stress can also help you get out of dangerous situations. It's the same survival mechanism our ancient ancestors used to escape from predators. When we face a difficult situation, our bodies release cortisol and other stress hormones. These chemicals set off the fight or flight response. Our heart rate speeds up, our breathing gets faster, and our body gets ready to either fight the danger or take off. For most people, stress comes from deadlines, traffic jams, information overload, and personal relationships. Stress today is less about dealing with constant peril and more about overcoming the ordeals of daily life. Think about something that stresses you out, like public speaking. Remember that anxiety you feel right before stepping up in front of a large group? Your heart beats faster, your palms sweat, and you breathe harder. That's the fight or flight response in action, sending stress hormones coursing through your body. Short term, that reaction can help you rise to the occasion. But imagine if that same response were to fire repeatedly, day after day for months or years on end. You'd feel pretty terrible, right? Not only do our jobs, finances, and families give us stress, but we also get stressed when we look at our screens, which many of us spend most of our waking hours doing. The average American checks their phone 80 times a day, or once every 12 minutes. One reason why we spend so much time fixated on Facebook, Snapchat, and other social media pages is FOMO, fear of missing out. But too much connectivity can be a double-edged sword. While it keeps us in touch with loved ones, it also exposes us to a flood of negativity and bad news we don't need. Eventually, stress can do lasting physical damage to the body. The constant rush of stress hormones produces inflammation, and inflammation damages your blood vessels and organs. When the stress response triggers over and over again, you get sick. Chronic stress can lead to high blood pressure, heart disease, cancer, depression, and other illnesses. How do you deal with stress? The trick to managing stress is to give your body time to recover. It's kind of like fitness training. If you're training for a race, you need to build up your cardiovascular fitness. But if you run a long distance every day, you'll overwork your muscles. And instead of building them up, you'll probably become injured. You need time to rest, recover, and refuel if you want to build up your endurance. Mental stress works in the same way. You need time to rest and replenish your mind and body if you want to stay healthy. Here are five tips to help you manage the stress in your life. Learn what stresses you out most. When you feel under pressure, write down what you're doing that triggered the feeling. Once you know your stressors, you can take steps to address them. Relax. Take a few moments to focus on you. Put your cell phone away and take a quiet moment to be thankful for all that you do have or just unwind a little with your favorite book or TV show. <sighs> Think positively. Try to find the upside of every situation. A good attitude can do wonders Ooh. for your state of mind. Use your time productively and follow your passions. Learn something new, sign up for a class, or just find an interesting podcast series to broaden your horizons. Practice good health habits. A well-balanced diet and regular exercise routine can help buffer some of the harmful effects of stress on your body. Finally, surround yourself with a strong support system. No matter how stressed you are, knowing you have friends and family you can lean on when things get tough will make you feel much calmer and more in control.